welcome back to Magnetic Max. So here we are, back out, magnet fishing again. Finally, so they ain't got a big magnet, those police have still got that one. We've got quite a few people down there. We've got Mrs. Mac down there. We've got Nigel from North Hans Magnet Fishing, Steve Rusty Nuts. We've got Beth uh, from Little Miss Magnets as well. So hopefully we're going to get a good day. And I've just threw my magnet in and I have got something. You ready? We've got a nice bullet on the magnet. Great start, considering we ain't been out for a long time yet. So hopefully, good more things to come. Keep watching. There we go. Been here a bit longer. Thought oh, Mrs. Max there. We've got a few things, not too much yet though. We'll, we'll cover that keyring. I can't show what's on there, but we've got a little musket ball there. Key and that thing. And a few other pieces down there. So we'll keep going and see if we find hotels. All up here, pink. Hopefully you can hear me, I've been here a bit longer, switch to the side of the bridge, not found too much, most of it just keeps falling off. Piece of street sign. And then a few bits on the top there. Bit of decorative cast iron. And those couple of bits down there as well. I think we're moving locations now, so hopefully see you guys again soon with some better stuff. So here we are, move location. Rob Nigel's coat as well, keeps up warm few things, not too much yet, I don't know if you're going to see. There we are, a few bits and bobs there, a few bits of all. Got good old Mars bars over there. So I'll bring you back if you find out. Alright, so I just pulled my magnet up and I found somebody's phone. I think I might take this one home to dry it out and see what happens, see if it works. Still got the headphones attached as well, look. That's the name on the back. And on the front, kill. Cool. Never found one with the headphones still attached. There we go, got divergence line down to church gate. <laughs> I like the noises here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, first knife of the day. Well, first knife in a long time, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to think of that first thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, We've got our first mascot of the day. <sighs> hey, just, just stand to the side of it like that. Let right, me go like that. Right, right. It's all on camera now. <laughs> Got a scraper. Really not finding much today. It's terrible. So, got a razor. Got an Alcatel burner phone. Then we got this bag, it's got some change in there. And some other stuff. We'll open it and find out. One more mouth. Oh, it's the hat. Whatever it is, it stinks. Yeah, yeah I don't want to smell that. What is it, do you feed? I don't know, it stinks. Then we've got a bunch of coins, some pennies and some foreign coins. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, there we go. So that's it, moving down to the next bridge now. So I'll bring you back when we get there. If I find anything, we should look nice, please. There we go, move down to the next spot. Not found too much yet, but we've got Nigel there. <laughs> We've got Steve there. Oh god, he's found a battery again. Another one. <laughs> don't see the resemblance, I really don't. Don't see one for three months and they all come along at once. And then we've got Beth further down there as well. Little Miss Looney. Little Miss Looney, yeah, that's a good one actually. So what we've got so far. I've just found an horseshoe and a bit of fake jewellery on there as well. So I'll bring you back soon. Right, so that's the end of the day now. Not found too much as you could tell. So hopefully you enjoyed what you did see. But it was good to get out again after such a long time. But we have got Nigel behind that bright light down there from North Hans Magnet Fishing. And also we've got Steve from Russi Nuts. If you could, just the shadow figures. <laughs> You don't need any more. The rusty nuts magnet fishing, drop us a sub. 
self promotion. <laughs> right, so you enjoyed the video. Remember till the next time to like, share, subscribe as usual. And until the next time, stay green. Bye. Hi guys, so if you made it this far, please stick a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We're here now at ADHD Solutions, as you can see. We're going to about to go in and hand over the charity money. So we'll all speak to you again very soon. Right, so here we are then. We're inside ADHD Solutions now, like you see me outside with the sign. So we're going to hand over the charity money. Little Mac And then we're going to let Ian tell you about what they do and what they're about. So Little Mac's actually going to hand over the money in the best way possible. Right, on he thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> we have done practice runs to make done practice runs to make sure he pokes, doesn't poke anyone out. <laughs> I, was, I was being a bit silly and I do apologise. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. So it's, it's fantastic really to get donations from people, really appreciate it. ADHD Solutions is a voluntary organisation and we work with any family where there's a, a child or young person um, who, or adults as well actually, where they're either diagnosed with ADHD or they're being assessed for ADHD. And it takes a long time to get there. Or even if mum or dad or anyone in the family or, or school thinks that they might be ADHD. Um, the main thing we're about really is we run a lot, we run support groups and we run lots of courses and we're trying to get people together who have ADHD in common and it's and we've got over five and a half thousand families now and I think it's really nice to be around other people who get it and yeah. other people who understand it and it's nice when we do activities for children and young people that they're around other kids that are a little bit different you know and I would say that you know if you're ADHD we're not we're different but we're the same kind of different and I think that's quite, that's a really big thing. Um, so the kind of courses we do are designed to give people a better understanding of ADHD and understand the kids better. And also the, the behaviour things we do, we've got a lot of practical day-to-day -day ideas. And between the two, we're trying to give parents the kind of understand the kids better, know what makes them tick, and give them a few ideas of doing stuff because loads of people because ordinary parenting ideas don't work with people that are different and we just need for it to be a bit different and it's nice if you do the groups and it's nice if you're with other parents and other kids because sometimes people say stuff like uh, this might sound a bit weird but and with a lot of parents or other kids you're talking to when you say this this might sound a bit weird but they will go that is a bit weird well, that's a waste of time that's not going anywhere but 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 in our group somebody will say this, this is a bit weird, and someone else will go, mine do that, they've always done that, I do that. <laughs> and then the next thing you say always is, what do you do then, and what helps you? Yeah. And you need that. And I think you only really get somewhere, and you only really solve problems and find solutions with people that need them. And I suppose that, that's what we're about, really. Yeah. So getting people together, giving them more knowledge, we'll go into schools, we'll go anywhere. And the more people that understand ADHD, and the more confident they are in knowing what works, I just think it means that it's just better for everybody. Because we still don't really understand ADHD enough and enough people don't buy into it. And uh, we need to change that really. And because we get some funding, but not enough, whenever anybody gives us anything like this, it's fantastic because we are voluntary, we're not for profit, and we, all the money we know is gonna go towards the job that we do. Yeah. So we're very, very grateful. And it helps so, pay the electricity bill, <laughs> so you don't have to sit in the dark. <laughs> yeah, we, nobody gets in the building anymore. Before, and, uh, before we started this, we were saying that all the lights are permanently off, so this is the most lights we've had on the building in months. <laughs> I mean, we won't be able to do too long, because honestly, we'll go over the metre and it will just go. It will just go. We all have to finish early, because we've used so much electricity. We can, little Mac has no idea what any of that means. What's, what's the best way that people can contact you if need be, if they need to talk to you about ADHD or any children or adults they know? Um, if, if, you're any, if, you, if you're diagnosed ADHD, if you're going through the process, even if you think it might be ADHD, um, give us a call so you can ring us on uh, 0116 261 0711. We have got a website, um, ADHD Solutions. And there is a, there's an email on there where you can contact us and that, that will come through. And what we'll do, if you contact us, we'll give you a bell, we'll take your details, we'll tell you what we do. And 
obviously we've not been doing the face-to-face -face courses we were doing now but we are doing webinars so i'm doing one hour webinar versions and i've been doing those since april and hundreds hundreds of parents are sitting down at home mobile phone laptop pc no. tablet whatever you know and somebody might be at work and somebody else might be sat in the car somebody might it, what it doesn't matter we it, it's an opportunity to and I only run them with about 10 people, so everybody can have a chat and you can ask questions. So I'm trying to keep it the way it's always been, you know, that people feel that you interact. We're not about just going and listen to this, because that's that's rubbish. You, you do need that ability to chat. So yeah, ring us, go through the website, we'll give you advice, we'll take your details, we'll send you some information. But the main thing is we'll try and book you within, you know, a couple of weeks. Yeah. You can do a couple of things that will give you more knowledge and just feel a bit more that you've, you've got the, the backup you need. Really important. What's that mean? Wind up. <laughs> Say wind up. No, it's just anyway, a weird, gonna, quirky gonna thing that you do. I'm going to to Mackenzie, because uh, you're, you were saying, you were saying, well, you quite like coming to my ADHD solutions. Is that true? <laughs> He's definitely not camera He's shy. Tell me, what, what do you think is good about having something that's for children and young people who've got ADHD. Think it's important. Someone like you, Kens. Would it be good for you or would it be bad for you? <laughs> You're getting zero input. <laughs> yeah. He's gone all shy. I might have to do your bits later. Yep. We'll probably have to add it in. But as I was saying before, was that when I was younger, many years ago now, I yep. used to come in myself then, same as little Mac. I was coming for different classes. My mum used to be a volunteer as well. And the last thing I remember from when I was coming here, because I don't seem to remember too much nowadays, was Dimension. when you used to have the play area at the back. You used to have all the ropes and all the steps going across and all that sort of stuff. I think that was about the last thing I remember, and then obviously having all the sports in the hall. I think they still got that. We have, we have still got the playground. Yeah. But when, when we do like, things, we do activities here. We'll have, we have 30 kids, 30 kids of ADHD. Oh, gosh. And in the summer, we go out and we do. Big outdoor suits program, we do climbing and canoeing and you know, all sorts. We've, we've, we've done Spy Academy in the woods and we've done all sorts. And people say, Oh, 30 kids of ADHD, that must be odd. Well, and I know, some, some, some people are the one wonder how they can carry on with just one, they might 30 and one down. Yeah, but yeah, I think, <laughs> managing it, it, it yeah, consistency and routine is key. Or tennis. We do football, we do French cricket. We do. Oh. I suppose, but, but the thing about it is, if you have 25 kids who are your more average, stereotypical, normotypical kids, and five that are different, that's always difficult because you get a bit of difference. And, the, and like I said before, if you have 30 people that are all different, and then they're all unique, but they are the same kind of different, mm. and it's really nice to be somewhere where you don't stand out. We have no problems with 30 kids with ADHD because... They don't stand out. And no, everyone feels the same. They do, but when someone's being a bit daft, or we had somebody who came to a session where he was just really shy and he was hiding under the table. And a lot of times people would be going, wouldn't they? Uh, what they're doing under the table? What's going on? Are they coming out? And it was, everyone was like, are they all right? We were like, yeah, leave them. They'll be all right in a bit. Yeah. And, and it, it's that thing of kids not being bothered by being a little bit different. And, and because everyone was cool about it then he'd come out from under the table but if you'd got everyone going over like is he all right and all yeah. that it's, <laughs> it's it's little things like that because um I've, I've i've got adhd I, I started here when i was 41 no idea what it was and then realized within about three months it was when everyone said are you adhd i didn't get diagnosed till i was 55 wow. 55 last year <laughs> and i finally thought you know what i'll do it's about time Mackenzie, Little Mac was diagnosed three years ago. And how old yeah. are you? 24, 25? <laughs> what are you now? Eight. What? I'm only eight. Can't believe it. Almost nine. Almost nine. nine. After Christmas. February. Well, we to Christmas first, then, mate. That's the main thing. Let's do Christmas. Uh, when's your birthday? I can't remember that. February. When is it? February. February. My birthday's February. What day? Um, 
se, se, seven, the seventh of February. The seventh of February. Oh, the ninth of February. <laughs> so you're two days older than me. <laughs> two days older. No, that's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> November is my birthday, boy. <laughs> No. Right, so we're going to leave it there before it starts getting too silly. <laughs> and we'll be sitting there for the next 20 minutes. Discussing birthdays. So we thought we'd show you, obviously, ADHD solutions, Ian, to allow him to tell you what they're about. Also, to hand over the money so there's no discrepancies of me handing it over or not. Um, and you would have seen the picture as well that, like I said, we were going to add up to the money. So there is £200 in the envelope as well. Yep. Yeah, I really um, appreciate it. That's fantastic. But this so is cool. hopefully going to turn into a monthly thing. We're yep. going to try to. Um, and yeah, until the next time, guys, remember to like, share, subscribe to the video, of course. Especially we if might, you know. We might show a tour. tour. Maybe. Maybe. So until <laughs> the next time, stay green. Say bye. Bye. bye.